Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at finding the domain of two multivariable functions and we want to sketch the domains once we found them. So the first function that we have here, we want to find the domain of it, is f of x, y equals the square root of x minus 2 plus the square root of y minus 1. The second function, natural log of 9 minus x squared minus 9y squared. So let's check this out, see how to do this. Well, the domain is basically all the points except for what's not what's not okay. So what's not okay for the first function is a negative under this radical. So we have to have x minus 2 greater than or equal to 0. And we have to have y minus 1 greater or equal to 0 as well. All right, so that tells us that x should be greater than or equal to 2 and y should be greater than or equal to 1. So our domain is going to be the set of all ordered pairs x, y such that x is greater than or equal to 2 and y is greater than or equal to 1. So what are all those points in the x, y plane? Well, if we graph some stuff over here, we got, uh, let's say, 1 is like right here and then 2 is about right there. Well, we need our x values to be greater than that, so everything over here, and we need our y values to be greater than or equal to 1, so everything up here. So actually, our domain is going to be everything up here. And it includes these two lines right here. So this line is included, and this line is included. So this would be our domain, everything above and to the right of these two lines. Now for the second function we need to have, uh, let's see, we got a natural log. We know that natural log cannot take zero or negative numbers. So that means 9 minus x squared minus 9y squared needs to be greater than zero because log, natural log, any log, is only defined for positive values. So if that's the case, then we have x squared plus 9y squared is going to be less than 9. Now divide through by 9 because we kind of get the impression that this is somewhat of an ellipse. So this is actually x squared over 9 plus y squared should be less than 1. So actually that does turn out to be an ellipse equation except we have to be inside the ellipse, basically. So let's plot, let's see, this x-intercept is going to be 3 and negative 3. So this is uh, negative 3. This is positive 3, say right there. And the y-intercepts are 1 and negative 1. And we get an ellipse right here. But our domain is not the edge of the ellipse. We have to be inside the ellipse because we want to be strictly less than 1. So our domain is actually everything inside the ellipse. So here the domain is equal to the set of all order pairs x, y, such that x squared over 9 plus y squared is less than 1. So that would just basically say everything inside the ellipse, but not on the surface of the ellipse. And that's how we find the domain. It's really just finding the values that are excluded from the, the in this case, the xy plane, because this is a function whose domain comes from ordered pairs of real numbers. So it comes from the xy plane. What points in the xy plane are not included? And that's basically what we do to find the domain, is exclude those points. So for radicals, we have to make sure that the radicand is uh, positive, or at least non-negative. We have to make sure there are no zeros in our denominators anywhere. We have to make sure log inputs are positive. Um, just all the natural things, all the things that you normally do with functions, you just scale those up here. And this is kind of a quick application of how you do that.
Hey, and since you're still watching, you may want to push that subscribe button, check out one of these other videos that we got going on. Thanks for watching.